And now when Republicans actually do offer a plan, they finally, we, I mean, you know, I'm not joking. Ask yourself this question. What is a Republican platform going to this campaign? No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm in deadly earnest. I'm not trying to be political. Just, just a fact. Well, they have a guy who is the Rick Scott from Florida who heads up the Republican campaign committee. He put out the plan. What does the plan do? It makes the tax system less fair by giving, wanting to tax everybody making under $100,000 significantly more on average a lot more money. It actually raises taxes on those working families because he thinks you don't pay enough in taxes already. No, no, not a joke. I, can, I, I should have brought along the actual copy of the plan. When go online and get, no, for real, it's been published. They published it. They think we're freeloaders. But he's not, but he's got a problem with the tax code that allows billionaires, none at all, no problem. Trillion billionaires in America, there's 789 or thereabouts. You know what their average federal income tax they pay? 8%. Every one of you have a job pays more than 8%. Every single one of you. If you're a cop, a teacher, a firefighter, a union worker, you probably pay two to three times that. Now, after refusing to protect your pension, they're going after your Social Security. Now, look, I would have thought, had I not seen it on paper and heard them talk about it, that I was making this up. Not a joke. The big idea is to put Social Security in the chopping block every five years. That is, every five years, Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid have to be reauthorized or they go out of existence. Social Security, you paid in from the day you started working. It's your other pension. You paid in it every single paycheck. You earned it. It's your money, just like your pension. And he adds in Medicare and Medicaid for the chopping block every five years. Unless Congress explicitly votes to extend those programs, they go away. You know how they work the rules in the Senate. The ability to slow this up and keep that from happening is real. You know how hard it is to get anything done in Congress. Imagine what it would mean if Republicans had their way. Look, the ultra MAGA Republicans, Congress is deciding every five years whether your promise of your hard-earned Medicare and Social Security would be continued or discontinued or slashed. It's shameful. But Rick Scott's not alone. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina is talking. <laughs> No, he has a proposal to cut Social Security. And by the way, I might note parenthetically, as president, the first year I was president, I cut the federal deficit by $350 billion. And you know how much I cut it this year? <laughs> cut. Cut this year. By the end of September, I will have cut the federal budget by $1 trillion. $400 billion, cut the deficit. So they start talking about you being big spenders. That's the point of that. But here's the point. Republicans are talking about privatizing Social Security. Privatizing Social Security. No, I mean, this is not a, I mean, you know, we used to hear this stuff and think they didn't mean it, but they've written it down. The senator from Wisconsin, Ron Johnson, promised again that if they regain power, they're going to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. What does that mean? It means that any of you who have a pre-existing condition will automatically lose insurance because the insurance company will be able to, right now, because of the Affordable Care Act, no one can be denied insurance because they have a pre-existing condition. It's the only thing that, no. And by the way, we're talking 90 million people with pre-existing conditions, gone, gone. They tried to do it about 17 times last under Trump. We're able to stop them. But folks, this is a different world. I don't know where they live. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking. That's why elections have consequences. That's why they matter. And that's why what we're doing here is so important. 